Where I'm from, off the street fights, they bring a tech, tech, tech. Hey, King J, what we tell him? Tell him. Back on, back on, back on, back on. Back on. Back on. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy King J. Um, I want to talk about this Leroy thing because I feel like this Leroy thing is getting a bit out of hand. I feel like, obviously, Leroy is broken. He was broken. I don't know about now. Now, they changed some things. It's still, like, there's some stuff there that was good. Like, obviously, down back one, one plus two is, like, minus ten with less pushback. But I feel like, if we really be honest with it, I feel like it could be minus twelve. That move does a lot. And it count. It's basically a counter hit stun, and it also wall carries. So it's like it's a like if you do a combo tail spin and then you do it, then it's gonna you gotta carry them to the wall. So it's a very good move. Minus twelve would have been better. And then it's like it's just weird because he's like putting all of his energy into it. And it's like oh, minus ten. It's a bit weird. And then like there's other moves as well. Obviously, the cane being minus seven is very good. It being plus eight wasn't really a problem if it was just only done in rage. If it was only done in rage, then yeah, I get it. But because it is done in, um, it's done at any point. You can just bring out the cane whenever and just throw it out. That's that's crazy. But minus seven is good. Um, there's still some other things though. Like he's um up forward um three plus four one plus two. Like the way how it hits is a bit weird, but. I mean, it is what it is. The character itself, I like the character. I like the whole Wing Chun, and I like the fact that they're bringing back characters. Or not even bringing back characters, they're bringing back martial arts characters, like real fighting styles. The thing that I found in, like, T6, they brought back a lot of... They brought a new a lot of new characters that didn't really, like, represent, like, real martial arts. Obviously, we look at Alyssa, Loss. Um, obviously, Zafina's one is pretty cool. She's very unique, so I like Zafina's one. Um... Miguel's is like just brutal fight, savage fighting or brutal fighting, whatever. Um, Bob was just, yeah, Bob was just Bob. And it wasn't anything like, you know, Wing Chun or like, we've now got Wing Chun, we've got Sumo Wrestler Gamry, that's back now. We've got um, Muay Thai, um, Fakarum. So it's good that they're bringing back everything. And even Fakarum stage looks like a proper stage. So it's good that we're getting these things back. But if we actually talk about like the this character as a whole, like Leroy, even like at Evo Japan, because I heard a lot of people like, oh, this is like Tekken 4 Jin, where you couldn't block this, or this was like T5 Steve, or this was like T6 Bob in Evo. No, yeah, he wasn't at Evo Japan. If he was at Evo Japan, you would understand how bad it was. Everywhere you looked, like you, if he was on stream and you watched it, you it doesn't do it no justice. It don't. It's like, everywhere you looked, everyone was playing Leroy. Everywhere you looked, there was a Leroy player. There was, it's either Leroy and another character, or Leroy, Leroy. It was, it was ridiculous. On stream, you saw the top, the top, um, top eight, and six of them were Leroy's. Cool. Similar to, like, T6 and Bob. Cool. But not, like, when you're actually from bracket stages. But that was, it's just pure Leroy's. And it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. So even like my experience, like my experience of it, I it was probably one of my worst tournament experiences. But I Evo as a whole was was great. But the whole Tekken Seven side of, you know, you you've paid to travel that far and you know you've gone to Evo Japan only to see just uh loads of Leroy's. People you saw people like, Oh, hold on, you don't play Leroy. You don't play Leroy. I know you to play Dragonoff. I know you to play Josie. Not today. Not today, boss. Today is Leroy Day. National Leroy Day. You know, this emote here, you look and get this as well. This is on my Twitch channel as well. So make sure you look subscribe, you look and get that emote. Um, yeah, like, it was National Leroy Day. Literally, everyone's picking Leroy. And the thing is, there's a lot of arguments that I've heard. And... A lot of stuff, like, for example, I, I hear, like, this is the, if I'll be honest with you, obviously, might be a bit sensitive, but I'll just put it out there. This is the only time I've seen a black guy be top tier and broken. I don't know anyone else in any other fighting game. If, I, if I'm if i lying, let me know. But I don't know anyone in any other fighting game that is top tier, black, and broken. So, I don't know. I think it's a, I wouldn't want this to happen. Like, I just want him to be a good character. 
that's all I want. I don't want him to be broken and stuff like that. But there's other things I've seen. Like, for example, there's a mod if you play, if you fight against him on ranked matches, it crashes the game. Like, stuff like this, people shouldn't be doing because at the end of the day, it's funny for the banter aspect. But then when you really look at it and you say, well, why didn't you do this for Akuma or Geese? Because Akuma and Geese are still, like, Geese, I don't know if he's worse than Leroy, but Akuma is... Pfft, Kuma has some stuff and there's this guy that usually comments on my video protecting Akuma. I don't know why. But, you know, if you play Tekken for so many years and you see this character do the stuff that he can do, like Tekken's always been poking based. Like you're always poking, 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 breaking on your opponent. It's always been like that. So when you got a character that, oh, hey, I done a minus ten move. Do you wanna take half my bar and, you know, like put me in a mix up? If there's a wall stage, I'm in a mix up. <laughs> and in Tekken, you're never really meant to crouch at the wall unless you actually read that the person's going to do a low, like Asuka's down punch or, you know, Leo's down punch that used to knock you down and stuff like that. But this character, Akuma, if you don't duck low, your bar might be coming off, bro. And this is the thing, like, this Akuma's gone way under the radar now. You're trying to look for the Dragon Balls. Akuma's not even on... One of the Dragon Balls is not even Akuma. <laughs> He's way under the radar. And it's like... If you lot knew the stuff that this character does, especially like the cross-ups, the mix-up, like, you know, when he jumps up forward and then does the tatsu and he can just kind of go straight towards you and it's safe. And you're, you're going to talk about Leroy, that's actually a Tekken character. The only thing wrong with Leroy at the minute, I think, is his frames. His frames, whoever's in the office, they need to just... Bro, you lot have to G you have to G check him. You have to ask him what's going on. Why did you do the frames like this? Because it's not making any sense. Like the frames, silly, you know. But obviously that's something that they can change. Down one plus two shouldn't make you force crouch. Like why? Why does it make you force crouch? And zero. Like what move is like that? I, I don't know. Um, his health sweep tra uh, it feels like it's got mad range and good tracking. Um, orbital minus eight is cool, but then you still have this evade, like this high crush that starts from crazy early and crushes a lot of highs. Um, we've seen an example of Liza doing her two hit um, forward, forward, four, three. Or oh, it might be four, four, three, four, I can't remember. But she does that, the mid high that used to gel. But now, if she does the mid high against Leroy, up forward, four crushes the high he, he get punished for that so i don't know there is there is other things like back one plus two needs to be like recovery needs to slow down it's why is it so fast huh, huh, huh. they just does it bare fast like that needs to slow down um yeah, there's other things i could be getting i could be on for a bit but you know i do feel like we're taking this a bit too far making the game crash could you fire leroy i don't know i just feel like i see in these videos as well um he touched on the fact that you know the game it doesn't feel like Tekken and to be honest with you I kind of I kind of agree it's one of the reasons why I don't really stream the game as much I'm trying to stream as much as I can and get into it but it's just like I don't really want to fight Leroy with a character that you know there's hardly any weakness there's no weakness I can't find a weakness for Leroy you know so I don't know it's a bit of a tough one um, if they just nerf him to the, to the extent where no other Tekken players can play him or fight against him, then I think everyone will be happy. But right now, it's just... His character's too good. His parries are too good. Like, even he's 1-1, one, 1-plus-2, one, one that where he goes 1, jab, jab, da 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 and the shoulder barge. Why is that so good? I could just buffer it. Oh, if I see you getting in the hit stun, I'm just going to press the rest. God, you got to do better. You know, I know... You lot are listening to us, Bandon Amco. And I don't think it's Michael Murray's fault because I don't think he does the, the frames and stuff like that. But Bandon Amco, you lot got to do better, man. That's a, it's a, it's a serious thing. People are stopped playing the game and I've heard it. Other people have heard it. People, people making stuff to crash the game because Leroy is here. You know, this, this guy is here. And yeah, so the main point I just want to make is just change the frames around his damage i think it's kind of changed now but i'm unsure i still have i still need a bit more experiment to do i think his damage has kind of changed but 
down one plus two and stuff like that just change it um let me know what you lot think in the comment section down below because there's a lot of different views on it and people like it some people don't um yeah just let me know what you lot think in the comment section down below remember to give a thumbs up subscribe obviously i need you lot to really help support the channel we're nearly on 50k so subscribe i'd really appreciate it if we do touch that put out I do put out a lot of content starting to get bags under my eyes because i'm just going crazy with the content so a little bit of, just a sub is free and yeah leave a comment in the comment section down below take easy everyone peace Simmer down, sip, sip it down. Sip, sip simmer now. now. Couple kicks to your boat. I'm a winner now. Like Eddie with the feet. I'm a killer now. Killer now. Killer now. Simmer down. Simmer, simmer, simmer now. now.